Hello and welcome to the Email Marketing Minute. I'm Jordan Ian. Today we're going to focus on subject lines. Subject lines are critical to your email marketing success. It's the first thing your recipient is going to see and it's going to determine whether or not they open the message and whether they go any further. The worst thing a recipient can say is, I didn't read what you sent, I thought it was spam. So how do you avoid that? You craft great subject lines and here are some keys to making sure they're great. The first thing is try to keep them short. 55 characters or five words is really what you want to aim for. Second thing, never use all capital letters. Obviously this is used by a lot of spammers and it turns off a lot of readers. The third thing, reinforce the relationship that you have with the person you're sending the message to. It's always good to remind them why they know you and why the message you're sending them is relevant. The fourth thing, focus on specific content, not just on a concept. What do I mean by that? A great example of a good subject line is how to boil an egg, as opposed to just January cooking news. You want to also avoid spammy news, spammy words. Let me tell you a little bit more about that in just a moment. And try to get your brand in it, especially if your brand is not in the from address. It's going to remind them who you are. And finally, test, test, and test. We're going to talk a lot about testing. It's critical to email success. You can do a split A-B test and try two different subject lines, determine which is the best, and send your message to the winning subject line. So, I talked about spammy words. What are they? Well, one of our most popular white papers is called The Seven Dirty Words You Can't Say in Subject Lines, plus a hundred others you probably shouldn't use either. You can download this at http colon slash slash budurl.com forward slash dirty. We're subscriber mail. You can reach us at subscribermail.com. Thanks for your time.